the elephant king was looking for a new home. He sent out a scout to find a suitable place. One day, the scout returned. Your Majesty, I found a beautiful lake. It is full of water and surrounded by trees on all sides. Let's go, the elephant king said with a smile. The group soon arrived near the lake. It was exactly as the scout had described it. The lake was full of clear and cool water and lush green trees surrounded it. The group rushed forward to plunge into the water. After drinking their fill and playing about, the elephant stepped out of the lake. However, the elephants did not know that a group of hares lived near the lake. The hares were scared of the elephants. I nearly got trampled by these giants, said one hare. The earth shakes as they walk about, wailed another. We'll all be dead if we stay here, said the leader of the group. So what do we do? Leave the lake? Asked the first hare. We shouldn't be the ones leaving. Let's ask the elephants to leave, said a bold hare. Why will the giant elephants listen to us tiny hares? Asked one of the hares. The bold hare went to talk to the elephant king. Your majesty, I'm a messenger from the moon god. What message does he have for me? Asked the elephant king. Your majesty, you may not know this, but the lake you entered today belongs to the moon god, said the hare. He is extremely angry that you entered the lake without his permission. He wants you to leave the lake immediately, the hare added. One of the elephants turned to the king. Your Majesty, this hare is lying. Let's not leave this beautiful lake. The hare smirked. Your Majesty, Come alone to the lake tonight. The moon god will show you his displeasure himself. Fine, I will see your moon god with my own eyes, said the elephant king. That night, the elephant arrived at the lake. The bold hare was waiting for him at the shore. Your majesty, don't look directly at the moon god. Instead, you may look at his reflection in the lake. The moon's reflection looked beautiful. The moon god looks calm and beautiful to me. I don't think he is angry, said the elephant king. Is that so? Why don't you enter the water, said the hare. The moment the elephant stepped into the lake, there were ripples in the water. The moon's reflection was disturbed. It looked all creased now. Look how angry you have made the moon god, said the hare. The elephant king was scared. The moon god no longer looked calm. He looked angry. <laughs> The elephant king did not realize that it was simply the reflection that had been disturbed, not the moon itself. Please tell the moon god, I am sorry. I will leave this lake alone, he said. The moon god forgives you, said the hare. In fact, he told me that there is another lake a few miles down the road. Lead your group to that lake. The elephant thanked the hare and quickly left the place along with the group. The other hares now came out. Thank you, friend. You have saved all our lives.
Thus, the elephants found a new lake and all the hares were saved. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for all the new updates. Till then, bye bye.